Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for those of you with weak hearts or delicate sensibilities, we do not advise that you continue watching. Turn this off now before it's too late. We are going to look at the dreaded AEM vibration board as it communicates via these long, unreliable wires to a Raspberry Pi 3, which is communicating with my PC on VNC viewer via Wi-Fi, and the AEM board is communicating by this terrifying little dongle to the computer itself. And what we're going to do now is restart the AEM board, and we'll get the messages that we know when in love. It's starting up, and once it starts starting up, we start the master, and we see the queue is at five elements. It's gonna hold there, I hope. And we see the master reading in data. Reading in, reading in, reading in, reading in, reading in. The Raspberry Pi is getting this data over the terrifying, the horrifying SPI interface. The queue has expanded to six elements. This is bad news for everybody. Very bad news indeed. Uh, you can see six elements. But what's happened? What's happened? We've got a bad contact. Yes, one of those ferocious wires and everything has stopped. I warned you what would happen. I warned you about this. We have to start again. The wires have screwed up. This is not the code. This is simply the wires. Now we have to go back here and wait for that to start again. And then when it starts, we start the master again. And then this time, maybe we'll continue working for a little bit longer, hopefully, if we don't touch anything. Anyway, that's it. That's what you've all been waiting for. A working AEM board communicating with a Raspberry Pi. Sort of, I guess. I hope you're still with us and this didn't scare the hell right out of you.